So where can you find genius in your astrological chart? Whether you do Vedic or Western, you're going to want to stick around for this one. I just did a quick TikTok in which I did a stitch with somebody who was explaining something that happened in the 1960s around the educational system where NASA was looking for geniuses. So they sent out this man to try to scope out geniuses in five-year-olds. So they discovered that if they had creative processing, creative problem solving, that that made them a genius. So the five-year-olds had a 95% component. Stick around because I'm going to help you find that in your chart. And then they went to when they were 8 years old, to 11 year olds, and then 16 year olds. And guess what happened? By the time they were 16, they only had 3% left. So what does that tell you? It tells us that there may be something wrong with the educational system. You might want to go to my TikTok to take a, like, take a look at that. I'm not downgrading teachers. I've always had the best admiration for teachers. In fact, I wanted to be a teacher at one point in my life. And now I am in a different way and I'm going to teach you your astrological chart to find out where it is. There's several components that you want to take a look at. So basically the signs that are quite creative thinking and creative processing and creative in the arts is Taurus, sometimes Gemini, sometimes Cancer, Leo, sometimes Sagittarius and Pisces. But it's not just your sun sign. You want to look at your moon sign and your Venus. You also want to take a look at the houses. Sometimes the 12th house because it's a quite imaginative and channeled type of house. When you have a lot of planets in there, you have the ability to channel this creative energy, which everyone can do, but it means that you've already accomplished that possibly in other lifetimes. Your fifth house also has to be very strong and sometimes your eighth house because the eighth house represents your psychology, your ability to be a deeper thinker and to look for deeper underlying issues in order to solve a problem. But you also want to take a look at your connection in with other planets with the moon. Of course, they have to be positive um, connections such as a sextile and a trine. Sometimes a conjunction, depending on the zodiac sign. You also want to take a look at your fifth house. The fifth house is the house of creativity and when we can remain childlike. And sometimes, sometimes the seventh house, which also is Libra. So I'm going to put Libra in the mix there too. But Libra is really your ability to be able to see balance and what's out of balance. And yeah, so if you look at all of those components and they have positive aspects, again, that's your trines and your sextiles, and they're in positive signs as well, okay, so positive zodiac signs. Now, I know if you're not versed at all in astrology, this is just about a bunch of mumbo jumbo to you. So you may want to take a look at having even as little as a discovery reading done by me at AskCollyHall.com and take a look at a 10 minute, it'll be sent to your email, find out what you're all about. And I hope you enjoyed this little astrological 101 on Are You a Genius? lesson.